Reginald Chance is the biker. He appeared in court just yesterday. Here he is with his attorney. Another biker caught part of this incident on his helmet cam, and I'm sure most of you have seen this video. The driver, his wife, and their two-year-old daughter were in the vehicle at the time. The wife says they feared for their lives after the group of bikers swarmed them as they drove on a highway in Upper Manhattan. Police say bikers later pulled the dr driver from the car, beat him, and kicked him. According to a criminal complaint, the man suffered two black eyes and cuts on his face and his side. Joe, how do you say last night? De Benedetto. Joe De Benedetto is a criminal defense attorney who's live with us in studio, and I know you were around the last couple of weeks while I was out having sur shoulder surgery. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Joe, I was talking to, well, I'll get to that in a minute. This guy overreacted. That's the word from his attorney after he busted out a window and beat a guy senseless? It's an interesting choice of words. Uh, um, he's clearly within a rock and a hard place simply because what's caught on tape is devastating enough. He's caught smashing a car window in with his helmet six times, obviously striking the driver of the car. That in and of itself is enough for a conviction um, of, of assault in the second degree, which will clearly carry at least five years in jail. So um, forget about what happened after the fact. That in and of itself is devastating. The reporting from the New York Post originally of this uh, undercover officer who wasn't involved in the crime, there are no allegations that he was, but he was there along for the ride with this biker gang. If you're a cop, you got to tell your superiors this sort of thing at very minimum, right? Without a doubt. Uh, there, there's clearly no duty, no legal duty for him to, to do anything to assist or partake in, in breaking this up. But is there a moral duty? Without a doubt. Uh, there, there's clearly a moral duty. Somebody who's a police officer who's trained to assist in these types of situations, for him to sit there, uh, sit idle and not do anything, shame on him. Yeah. You know, I was talking to a couple of police officer friends. There was the Tunnel to Towers run, which is a big charity event. Uh, I think there were 35,000 people downtown for this. And this group of bikers, by the dozens, even hundreds, just crashing all around lower Manhattan. Thousands of people witnessed this. What, what is up with these guys? How do you stop this? Well, um, clearly, one way is for the NYPD to ticket, ticket these guys uh, a bit more aggressively. Yeah. Um, but w it, what's clear here is that the prosecution uh, of these individuals, um, it's clearly headed in the direction where the driver has, uh, is not going to be held liable for his actions. Yeah. Uh, and and they, they seem to be focusing in on these motorcycle drivers. Makes sense. Joe, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back.